So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this very easy but smooth freeze frame effect that you can add to your music videos. This is something you're not going to want to miss out on, so make sure you stay locked in. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing so far, make sure that you smash that like button. But before we head into today's video, I want to shout out my preset packs. The link for it will be in my description and I will be using some of them effects within this video. So if you guys are familiar with my content you know that I like to edit my videos within Premiere Pro and then import it in After Effects because I do a lot of editing within Premiere Pro with my presets and all of that sort of stuff so for After Effects what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight a segment on where I want this effect to happen which is just this segment here so I'm gonna right click this and then we're gonna go to replace with After Effects composition and that is my sequence for After Effects so as you can see it's all here right so the next thing I'm actually going to do here as well is open up Premiere Pro again and we're just going to go to around and what you can do is you can either do freeze frame or take a picture. Now just because I want to make it easier for some viewers that may be new and want to learn this effect a little bit faster, I'm just going to take a picture of that frame right there and we're just going to trim it to around I'd say just here and we're going to drag it on top of this segment right here. So we're going to have it run until the whole clip ends basically. So next thing you want to do is you want to right click this as replace with After Effects composition as well. So now that you've got your two compositions, I'm going to start on the freeze frame first and then we're going to focus on the shot after that. So, so we're going to start off with the picture frame, the freeze frame, which is this one. And we're just going to double click and then we're going to go to rotoscope and we're just going to rotoscope the whole frame. Very easy, guys. OK, so the next thing that I usually do is I go to my layer, I then keyframe position. And I also keyframe scale. And if I want to just keyframe rotation, just in case. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this to around, I'd say, and we're going to pull the rotation just ever so slightly just to around here. And then we're going to slowly bring this off the screen. Okay. So now that when we look at this back, you can see it's just got a slow movement of it coming off the screen and you can highlight your keyframes and do F9. Okay. So now when you do F9, you can see that just comes off the screen. Now what you can do with this is you can add your motion blur. You can also highlight the keyframes again and you can go to your graph and click here and just drag it into the middle just so that it gives it more of a different type of look. So then now it looks kind of fast as it's coming off the screen. So that's all I've done. So as you can see, that's the sort of look that you get. All right looks very smooth very clean very simple um it's not anything advanced you know what i'm saying but now when we go into premiere pro you can see that the performance scene is showing here and then it just slowly wipes off the screen so that is your freeze frame complete but what you can do is you can actually make this way more interesting by actually making the scene that is behind it kind of go down with it as well if that makes sense so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our scene in After Effects, which was the first composition. And we're gonna get it to the point where little dirt comes in here, right here. So we're just gonna click Control Shift D on the keyboard on the right one. There we go. I'm just gonna rotoscope this out. So now when we go into composition, we can go to feather and just feather that out just a little bit to around 21, I'd say. And then we can just duplicate this layer and then we can actually just delete the rotor brush on the second layer so that our background has come back. So now that now when we click onto our first layer here, we can go to the motion blur, make sure that is on and we can go to transform, go to position and we can just start to bring this down. So I'd say around here, just bring the subject down like so. So I think the best thing to do would be just to drag it to around here. And now when we watch it back, you can see that the freeze frame comes in, comes off the screen, but then Little Duck also goes down with it. And that's the sort of vibe that we are trying to go for. So we highlight these keyframes. We can go to graph speed and we could just speed this up just a little bit around there. So that now when we watch this back, it's got a nice movement with it but it also goes with that freeze frame. Now that actually looks sick. With some shakes and some extra effects alongside this, this is gonna look really nice. 
so the next thing that you can do as well just to make this a lot more interesting you can duplicate your first rotoscope you can go down to your effects where transformers and you can just edit your positioning for this one which can be reset right click reset and then just drag to the side so that now we've got him going down but then he's also coming to the side and what you can do is you can duplicate your layer again go up to the top transition reset your position again and for the last keyframe drag him to the left so now you've duplicated the layers but you've also got a different transition going along this third layer right here with the rotor brush on it i think this needs to be dragged all the way up to the top so that we can see it fall down there we go that's the look we're trying to get so it's the first rotoscope going down and then the two coming to the side which i think looks cold and then what you can do with these is you can actually add like a glow onto these rotoscopes so add a deep glow onto this one and we could just down exposure just by a little bit maybe to like 0 0.10 and do the same thing for the bottom one and do 0 0.10 so what we can do is just when it gets to the first keyframe on this layer just control shift d and then we can delete the glow off the first layer so that it only glows when it's coming down and when it's going across if that makes sense and that is the sort of look we're getting which is a nice look and it goes with the freeze frame comes out of frame little duck drops down but then the two other clones go to the side i think that's sick um, but a way to improve this and to make it look i don't know a little bit more better we can go to our two rotoscopes that move to the left and to the right and we can click t on the keyboard and we can do opacity keyframe we can move it to the first keyframe here and then move it to the last keyframe around there and put it on zero and just easy e these by f9 in so then it kind of fades out like that i think that looks sick but i think we should actually fade them out really late like that that looks sick okay cool so we'll do that again for the fourth layer which is the second rotoscope this is the sort of look we are getting which is really nice i really do like the way that looks that is cold man so we're just going to cut right here as soon as the freeze frame comes in we're going to cut on our main clip and we are just going to continue moving the dial until you can't see the freeze frame on the screen anymore which will be around here okay so we're going to end that cut and we're just going to go to effects go to presets and we're going to go to our small shake effect this shake effect is actually really nice if you want to add energy to your videos so feel free to grab these link will be in my description and just drag that simply onto this clip here you can see nice shake and continues into the next clip i think that looks sick man honestly i really do like the way that that is looking man so for some extra sauce i'm actually just going to add a flash to this because i really do feel like it's going to look nice with that so we're just going to add adjustment layer just in between where the freeze frame starts right here and then we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to flash blur effect and we're going to drag that onto our adjustment layer but i really do feel like the flash is continuing for way too long so we're just going to trim that a little bit and we're going to drag that just in between there i'd say around there so that now when we watch it through We've got a nice flash and what you can also do is as soon as these clones end up on the right on the left add a flash blur there as well just to give it that energy so when we watch this back flashes in and flashes out guys i'm not gonna lie to you i really like this effect i use this in a lot of my music videos so that's why when i achieve it on a video that's not mine and i'm just practicing some vfx and showcasing you guys you know effects that i do it's just sick to see the outcome and what it actually looks like so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button press that bell notification because i'm going to be uploading every day this month 
So I just want to take some time out and say I appreciate everyone that has been supporting the channel, liking the videos, new subscribers, everyone that's just here locked in, man. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.